Welcome to 2024 and it's not 2013. We have in front of us a Nexus 7, which is a very old device. It's actually 11 years old, but it's still going, still alive, and I still use it on an everyday basis. But what can I do with it? And what are the specs? We will see this in this video in 2024. But first of all, if you don't know it, we are on the channel Tech and Bags, where I, your daft guide, make you discover smarter stuff. Starting with the specs, well, it's a 7-inch Full HD display, which is a little bit large. You have uh, some black bars on the sides that are very good to hold it. You have a Snapdragon S4 Pro uh, processor, which is a dual core 1.4 GHz from 11 years ago. You have 2 gigs of RAM, which, which, which seems not so much by today's standards, but it's quite well and it was quite well at the time. You have 16 or 32 gigs of storage without SD card expandability, which is a shame. You have a micro USB right here, so no USB-C, which is uh, a little bit disappointing, but it was 2013. So that's about it for the specs. And the only thing I want to say is that a Full HD display on a tablet of this size is quite rare today, even by today's standards. So this is really a good thing. And keeping on the specs, I really like the, the shape and the format of this tablet. I have here on the side my Kindle, which I use to read books. And as you can see, it's a little bit longer, but the same, it's less wide than the Kindle. So it's a perfect device even to read books and comics. So that's perfect transition for what you can you do with it. I use it to read content, for example, as comics or BD, as we say in French. Here you can see some books I have. If I want to read a comic book, for example, you can just use this. And now, as you can see, it's a perfect device to read even in sunlight. The screen is quite good. And if it's too small for you, you can zoom, of course. And if you prefer, you can also uh, use it sideways like this. And now you can read your comics in a perfect manner. So you can see, sorry, the reflects, but uh, in reality, you don't see them. Next up on the list of what you can do with it. Well, you can also, of course, read books as you do on the Kindle. It works perfectly well. And another way to use it is to use it f uh, to watch YouTube. So here I have the YouTube through the Brave Browser app. I don't have a YouTube account, but if I type a very good channel that you may have heard of, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. That's a very good channel. If you don't know it yet, just watch it. It's to be light, roomy, versatile and affordable. And I think I found the one. Right, next up on the list of what can you do with it, uh, you can play on um, video games uh, with, for example, retro gaming, which doesn't require a lot of power. So I have here an emulator, and I can just uh, play this. As you can see. It works pretty well. Anyway, you can also play on some DS, for example, which is a game that I really, really like, which is Adventures. Works perfectly well. And that's already quite a lot that you can do with your very old 11 years Nexus 7 in 2024. If you still have it, don't forget it, put it on Android 13 with my tutorial and my other videos that I will put the link down below. If you like this video and if you like the Nexus 7, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I review tech, bags and also random stuff to guide you through smarter stuff. Thank you very much. Bye bye.